God's servant said it's important to give perspective so that we know the weight of what God is giving and what is meant for. The Lord told me, sir, he said it's apportioning nations to individuals. Did we talk about it? Inheritances are nations. Nations! It's not about car, it's not about land. I'm telling you, some of you standing here, you are the owners of Scotland. You are the owners of Canada. You are the owners of Belgium. Hear me? The Western world is dying. Corruption is taking over. Perversion is taking over. When God keeps us on the altar here, it's because Zion is traveling. Yes. And as soon as Zion travels, she brings forth her children. The children we are giving birth to is not Moses and Natalia. It's Zambia. It's Canada. It's Ghana. It's Scotland. They are nations of the world. That's why your womb must be enlarged so that you can bring forth a generation, so that you can bring forth a nation. And there is a fire demand for you to be able to set a nation on fire. That's why he said, he maketh his angel spirits, but his ministers, there is one language we carry. It's the language of fire. It's the language of the burning flame. Demons are not interested in theology. Demons are not interested in grammar. What fire do you carry? That's why God is cooking us. Tonight there is a download from heaven. Can we lift our hands one more time? Lift your hands. Something of heaven is about to fall here. Yes. Sir, hear this brothers and sisters. God told me. He said the reason we must be set on fire is because when we show up with fire, we remind the devil of the messianic judgment. When Satan was judged, the Bible said out of your bowels, it said fire shall come out and it shall consume you. When a man of fire shows up, Satan is reminded of judgment. That's why demons tremble. That's why demons flee. And when God sets you on fire, there are territories you enter. Even without preaching a sermon, they will know you have come. He said, this be the man that turned their walls upside down. Yes. Can we lift our hand one more time? Lift your there hand. is a fire about to descend here. Yes. There is a flame about to come yes. down here. That's why he was teaching about sacrifice. Lift your hands. Because the fire falls on the sacrifice. Lift your hands. Everyone standing here numbered for the nation. Lift your hands. Everyone standing here numbered for the generation. Lift your hands. Everyone standing here numbered to carry a mantle. Lift your hands. To carry a dimension from the front to the back to the overflow. Yes. To those watching Keep your hands. Eyes. Let the fire begin to fall. Let it fall. The spirit. Let, Let it fall. Let the fire begin to fall. One. Carry that flame. Two. Three. Come on, lift your hands. Four. We are going to seven. Five. That's right. Six. We are talking of fire. Seven, let the fire burn. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. All over this place. In the overflows. Come on. Fresh fire. It will baptize you with the Holy Ghost. And with fire. These are men of the altar. Come on, 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 pray in the Holy Ghost. Your hands lift up. It's happening. 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 Sophia de Mek. Meliana Tor. Shall a nation be born at once? For as soon as Zion travel. Did you hear that word? Nations. Nations. There are individuals here receiving keys to nations. Nations. Nations, nations. God is also giving keys to cities. I can change the world with the fire of God. There's a fire inside of me that is able to burn the world. <laughs> we are talking about I fire. I can change my world. The Holy Ghost and fire with the power of God. There's a fire inside of me that is able to burn the world. Hey! I can change my 
my word <laughs> with the fire of God. Get up and run, I tell you. There's a fire inside of me that is able to burn the world. I shall I can change my world with the power of God. There's a river inside of me that is able to drown the world. <laughs> I can change my world with the power of God. There's a river inside of me that is able to drown the world. I can change my world with the fire of God. There's a fire inside of me that is able to burn the world. Can we lift our hands toward heaven? Lift your hands. You know what the Bible said? When Abraham was going for the battle of the kings, nations ganged up, took over Sodom and Gomorrah, and message was sent to Abraham that your nephew Lot has been taken. Abraham did not consult with any king for support. The Bible said Abraham divided himself amongst 318 trained servants. Oh, yeah. You know what that means? Why did you think there was no casualty in that battle? Because it was 318 nations against five nations. Ooh. It was impossible for one man to die. Nobody died. No casualty. Abraham knew that he was not just a nation, that he was a father of nations. nations. So even the nations that conquered Sodom were Abraham's children. And when they pitched their tent against Abraham, hey. he said Abraham divided himself and 318 men became 318 nations hear this the least any one of us should be is a city the Bible least. says you are a city, city set okay. upon a hill that cannot be aye, 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 if aye, you aye. cannot be a nation at least be, be a, a city. city and so the, ah. night, the fire that is coming is yes. about to make somebody a city yes imagine if you are coming and your capacity is like a picture your capacity is like new york and above all, your capacity is like the new Jerusalem. Because you have become a city. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. Heaven. There is a fire that makes men. Because men are fallen in the furnace of fire. And when that furnace is done with you, you don't come out as Nathaniel. You don't come out as Peter. You don't come out as Jennifer. You don't come out as Jane. You come out as a city. A city. In the name of Jesus the Christ. Lift your hands. The mantle, the dimension that makes man to become cities and nation. Let the rest of what you do. Yes. I can change the world. With the power of God. There's a river inside of me that is able to drown the world. 